part two of him playing. So you're the church pianist. Today I wanted to give you some tips for being the church pianist, not so much how you play the music, but your role as the church pianist. I have had the privilege to be in church since I was about one. So I've been to a lot of Baptist churches. So I've had the privilege of watching other church pianists play. I started lessons when I was seven. So I've always had an interest in music and learning. And from the time I started piano, you just can't help it when you're a musician, you notice other musicians. So my number one tip would be to listen, listen, listen. Find all the good music that you can find. Look on, there's lots of stuff on YouTube where there's good gospel playing and you can listen and you can try to imitate. And that's what I've always tried to, done, to, tried to do. I've tried to imitate other styles and uh, ways that people play. Now, one of the highest recommended books that I can recommend is Hymnvisor, series by Shelley Hamilton. I have a lot of the same style as Shelley Hamilton as far as arpeggios and things like that because that's who I listened to. Growing up, I listened to a lot of Patch of Pirate music. I have been to actually some of the workshops that she has done. And when I was thrown into the role of church pianist at 16, I started using her books any chance I got. She has a whole series of three books, Hemprovisor books. And so anytime I had the chance, I would play the congregationals from those books. And I don't use those anymore just because I've developed my own style. And that's the other thing. Every pianist is going to have their own distinct style. You can add um, what you like to it. I like to do a lot of runs in the right hand, such as things like that as I'm playing the melody. But that leads me to another part of being a church pianist. As a church pianist, your main goal is to follow the song leader. It is not to steal the show, it's not to take over the song service, it's not to bring attention to yourself. It is to follow the song leader and to compliment him and the congregational singing. So I would give you this tip. If your song leader can carry a tune very well and has very good pitch, then by all means do your own little melody, you know, make stuff up with your right hand, you can do stuff with your left hand. But a lot of times song leaders, they're just thrown into the role of song leading as well. So they don't have the greatest pitch. So when they don't have the greatest pitch, you need to do the melody in the right hand. Instead of doing runs, um, you know, such as, you might need to, have that melody very distinct in the right hand so that he can follow along and he can adjust his pitch to that. But if you have a song leader uh, that has good pitch already, you can do more improvisation. So that's another tip I wanted to give you. Also, I see a lot of pianists um, maybe that are just starting out and they're so glued on the music they never look up. Okay, they're like this. That's not good. You are there to follow the song leader. So you need to be watching the song leader. You need to watch him when he does, um, when he first starts the song so you can adjust your speed. You need to go faster if he's going faster. You need to go slower if he's going slower. Don't be one of these church pianists that the song leader is up there directing and you are either way ahead of him. That seems to be the case. Most pianists go way too fast. They're way ahead of the song leader or they're way behind him. The song leader wants to pick it up and you're just not getting the hint. You know, there's power in the blood is a fast song, so maybe maybe he wants it to go. But you're playing it. There's gonna be a big problem there. And it's just gonna fall apart. The congregation's not gonna know what's going on because they're trying to follow the song leader, which is what you're supposed to do, but you're playing a different thing, so they're gonna wanna try to follow you, but you're off from the song leader. So your number one goal as a church pianist is follow that song leader. Keep your eyes glued to him, watch what he's doing, play the tempo he is setting. That is my number one tip for any church pianist starting out. Learn to not keep your eyes glued on your hands or even the book because I tell my students when they're starting out, they need to be looking at the book to see what's coming next, which you do too. But don't be so glued to the book that you're not focused on watching the song leader. The number one tip, follow that song leader like your life depends on it. He is there for a reason. He is called the song leader for a reason. You are not the leader as the church pianist. Your job is to follow him. So um, like I said, listen, 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 listen to other styles try to um, imitate them, try to pick up some things from them, try to do the arpeggios like they're doing and the chords like they're doing. 
listen, listen, listen. Watch the song leader like your life depends on it. Follow his lead. Do not take your eyes off of him, especially at the beginning when you're when he's setting the tempo. Follow his lead. Come in when he wants you to come in. Hold the notes when he wants you to hold the notes. End when he wants you to end. And then also, you know, get some improviser books. Those will help a lot as you develop your style of playing. And um, it'll help show you the rhymes. It'll help show you how to walk to the chords, which I'll go over in another lesson. It'll show you all these different tips and techniques that you can learn. And I have them available on my website, uh, churchmousepianoacademy.com. If you go there, you can find those books that I'm talking about. Those are great for learning how is that this is these books are more for people that are advanced in note reading. They know how to read notes very well, but they want to go to the next step of learning how to do fill-ins and um, arpeggios and chords and runs and all things like that. So check those out and I will be back soon with another episode of uh, Him Playing.